Hello coach, uh, it's a pleasure to have you in this first week of that we be our weekly update. Right. Um, a section where we will see each other every week to talk about the previous games and the game we will play the following weekend. In this first episode, by the way, we will talk about the beginning of our season four, the brick by brick season, and we will begin by playing the first brick week against the Helvetic Mercenaries. First question, what feelings do you have on a personal level and what feelings do you perceive from the group, from the team, and what is the atmosphere for this first weekend? Yeah, I think from a personal level, you know, just fulfillment. It's, uh, you know, it's a journey and it's a process. So you just have to go through the process, right? I think um, getting the players adjusted to what we expect in regards to practice, pre-practice, post-practice, so it's pretty intense. And it's probably something that they weren't, they probably weren't equipped to do, but they are now. So as we go through the process, it's been fine. Yeah. So we expect, we expect them to play at a high level, both sides of the ball and special teams. Okay. Um, let's talk a little bit about the team and how the two, the offensive and defensive units, arrive in this moment for the, his first week, and what we can expect to see in this first game. We'll talk, let's talk about offense, right? We have probably the best quarterback in the league, so expectations are extremely high for Levi. And he's the type of guy that's accepted, and he's accepted that leadership role with the team. You know, the offensive line, once we added, when we added Thomas Middleton, that kind of secured our old line. I think we have, we have depth, and I think the five stars are gonna be very, very good. Receivers, running backs, everybody's in position. They're getting coached up by Coach Gonzalo with the wide receivers, Coach Alexander with the running backs. They're extremely solid. So we just expect nothing but, you know, we don't ask for perfection. We just ask you to be consistent. Yeah, defensively, I think I'm a defensive guy from na by nature. So I think, you know, I want to be led by defense. You know, that front that we have, our front four, front five, are probably top five in the league, right? Our linebackers were solid, you know, with, with uh, Chessie Bergani, you know, with and with Pasito, so very solid, very experienced. Secondary, we, I, you know, I coach the secondary along with Coach Alfonsin, and we feel that we have the best secondary in the league, like hands down. We have, we have four guys that are extremely solid, a lot of experience. We have all-stars. We have guys that were top all-stars in 22 with my son, with Lau last year, you know, um, and um, Jordy's been a guy that's had, you know, tremendous success. You know, we've added, we've added um, Khalid, a player from Great Britain. So he kind of solidifies us. And then the backups, we have a couple guys with Eric and Brian, two backups that are going to play safety and corner. So we're, I think we're solid there. Overall, we want to, uh, we want to be aggressive. We just want to be relentlessly aggressive 24 seven on that defense. And we want to set the tone for the game, right? And put our offense in position to score. Yeah. Okay, nice. Um, Talking a little bit in deep about the offense, uh, people are excited to see our start because we will have the eyes of the entire league on Levi Lewis, the bat. Right. Uh, people, analysts and fans, however, are a little bit worried about our O-line right. because people think that it's not a lot of big or whatever. Right. Um, how do you see this unit and more so with the arrival of Thomas Middleton that you comment? And what do you predict about the first Levy's performance? I think in regards to O-line, you know, the biggest isn't the best, right? We, you know, we want guys that have good size, that are athletic, but based in our system, we don't need to have guys six foot, six, 350 pounds. We need guys that can move, that can be athletic, that can block second level, that can block it at the initial point of attack. So that's kind of our key. Adding Thomas was just the piece that we needed. We had an EU spot open. So he fulfilled that spot, and so we just filled in seamlessly. Thomas just played in the LFA in Mexico, which is a league that you know is predominantly American, and so he played at a high level. So we expect nothing less from him. And I think those guys are going to be confident. Levi is confident, right? That those guys are going to protect him, so we can have success. I think they'll be fine. Okay, that's a good news, no? For, yeah. Oh for no, the, it's great for news the, for the fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a great news, right? Everybody, whatever the expectations are. Whatever the expectations are that the fans have, our expectations are a thousand times higher. Right. You know, that's just kind of how it is, right? It's pro football. We expect that, right? And when guys don't do that, right, that's why we have depth. That's why you have guys behind them, that guys that can step in and play at a high level. Okay, nice. Um, this first game, it's away game in Switzerland. 
the weather is expected to be stormy and very rainy. Right. Uh, this is can affect our game. No, we just well, you know, a couple of weeks ago we practiced. We had a, a, a late practice, uh, nine o'clock practice, um, and it rained the whole time. Okay. And that was probably one of. It was probably our first, probably our second or third best practice we had. Storming, raining the entire practice. Guys were dialed in. Guys were just doing what they were supposed to do. They were aggressive, like it wasn't raining. So whatever the weather is, it is what it is, right? We expect those guys. We expect them to play. You know, they're at home, so they're going to be played. They're going to play well. Their fans are going to come out, so it's going to be pretty festive, right? And you know, it's you're, when you, you know it's your first home game, of course, right? And we're playing on the road. You know, so we expect um, our guys to travel well. We expect our defense to travel well and play and and play extremely well. Okay, and um, as we said, we played against Helvetic Mercenaries, a team that underwent a very abrupt restructuring just one or two months uh, before starting the league. Right. That we will find ourselves at the front of. Um, and how do you think we can hurt them being a team with almost no scouts and without being able to analyze them because. It's, I think it's a lot of changes from the previous. Yeah, they're season. they're probably in the same position we were in, right? We they've added a ton of talent, right? Good coaching staff, right? They're going to get those guys ready to play, and so they're expected to do the same thing we are, play at a high level. So, are they better than last year? Yes, they have better personnel than last year. So, I don't know about the scheme, but I know we expect them to play well at home, right? So, we just prepare as if it's another game, right? Our goal is to go one and zero. Right, and then we, you know, play, have success. We go to week two. Yeah. Okay. And for end this, uh, good luck in this first match. And I'm sure that the, all the Dragons fans will be supporting us from the virtual watch party and the watch party Belush is here in Barcelona. Um, if you want to send them a message to finish, and that's all for for me. Yeah, we have we have a couple games on the road, so we won't see our fans, right? But we know in spirit they're going to be there and they're all going to be watching. So our players are very, you know, they're very intuitive to what you know what the fans expect, and they expect success, right? So that's what we expect. We, um, as a group collectively, guys are ready to play. You know, you know, I've been through this. You know, it's training camp. It's not fun, but you have to go through it. It has to be tough. It has to be difficult, and it has to be challenging. And that's just how the games are. The games are tough. They're challenging, and they're difficult. So. We have a saying um, since we first, since I first got here, I said, um, you know, embrace change and embrace adversity, right? So if they can do those two things, we'll be just fan, we'll be just fine, and the fans should be happy. Okay, thank you, coach. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.